everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free review for My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. So this book is a YA historical fiction that takes the story of Jane Grey and completely turns it around and reimagines it and makes it absolutely awesome. So basically if you're not familiar with the actual historical story of this, um, Edward was king, he ended up dying, and he ended up giving his throne um, to Jane Grey instead of um, who was actually supposed to go to, which is his sister Mary. So he changed the line of succession so his sis uh, sorry, his cousin Jane Grey could get the throne. So she ends up only being queen for nine days because Mary ends up retaking the throne and overthrows her and ends up beheading her so Jane Grey ends up dying in the end um, and what was I gonna say oh and Mary is actually Bloody Mary who's the queen who like um, burned all the Protestants at the stake and it was just a mess and she was basically just an awful person but this takes that story and completely changes it so that wasn't a spoiler at all that was just like the original historical story but this story honestly flips that on its head and makes it absolutely amazing. Oh, I love this book so much. The writing of this was honestly fantastic because it was just so witty and sarcastic and it was kind of that like undercut humor where it's not blatantly in your face. It's like the little references here and there that you'll get as a modern reader that are kind of thrown into this historical setting. So it's just really amusing to read. And I felt like um, the three authors who call themselves the Lady Janies, they wrote so well together. Their writing styles just seamlessly blended together and it wasn't choppy at all. The story just flowed very well and um, it's told in the perspectives of three characters. So it's told from the perspective of Edward, who is the king, Jane, Lady Jane Grey obviously, and then Gifford, who goes by G, who is um, he's a character that I don't really want to get into too much. I, I guess I'll get into it. He's the character who has a relationship with Jane Grey. So those three characters, and I'm assuming that each author took over a different character. I'm not sure who did which, but um, I'm assuming that's the case. And if so, the, like each character had their own distinct perspective, but it wasn't so distinct that it felt like it wasn't part of the same novel. So it just really worked really well. And I just really enjoyed, how many times can I say really in this video? Fun drinking game. Take a shot every time I say really or super or excited. I say so many of the same words in my videos. I'm really sorry, but I just thought that the writing was so well done and I loved everything about the writing style, how funny it was, and it was just the perfect blend of wit and humor and seriousness and it worked so well. The characters in this book were absolutely amazing. I loved Edward. Um, I think that he it was a really interesting reimagining of an English king and I think that he was really sweet but like didn't want to show it because he kind of has to be this hard king and I think seeing him try and figure out the world um, was interesting because it was kind of like a buildings roman for him which is basically like a novel where um, an educational novel where um, a teen is set out in society and you see them kind of find their way so it was really like that for him and I think that seeing him develop as a character he definitely developed the most from the beginning of the novel to the end and it was a really great well-rounded character development that had a really distinct path from the beginning and it worked very well. Jane was an awesome character. Um, I love how much she loves reading. She just always has her nose in a book and I think she was a really relatable character for me and any bookworms out there she will definitely be a relatable character and she just kind of has this like witty dry humor about her that works really well and I think that she is always up to the challenge so she's really kind of that badass female character that um, YA is really known for and she just won't let any man and this was a time when like women were considered very inferior men so um you see kind of that the author's kind of poking fun of that at that all the time because you see Jane being like no like you're not the master of me you don't tell me what to do I'm going to do what I want and what's best for me and I think seeing her do that was really awesome especially for the time period and I just really loved her character and everything she did she was just my absolute favorite 
And then we have G. G was a great character. I loved him with Jane and I think their relationship worked very well. I think um, I liked how G like he would always just quote Shakespeare and this was this takes place in a time before Shakespeare was even born so it was just really funny to kind of see all the Shakespeare quotes and there's actually a note in here saying you may recognize this from Shakespeare but um, there was a lot of dispute where Shakespeare's works came from so we're imagining that it came from G which I think is a great idea. I really liked seeing him just have these quotes quotes and it, were the, it was the things that like I as a complete Shakespeare nerd would notice and I just loved it. Um, the one time he he tells a character that um, she kisses by the book which is a quote from Romeo and Juliet so it was just those little things that like I love when I can pick out those little references and I'm like oh I know where that's from and I like want to tell everyone but I have to like just keep it to myself. But I really liked G and everything about his character worked very well. And he also has that kind of dry undercut humor and it was really nice to see the banter between him and Jane. I think it just made the book just so great because their banter was so amusing. The plot of this book honestly should not work at all, but it does. Like, it works so well. So basically the first half they kind of, they twist history a little bit. And there are points, there's points all the time throughout the book where the narrators are talking and they're like, hi, narrator's here, which I love. I love when narrators point attention to themselves. Um, I just, it, I don't know why, but it makes me laugh. And especially in this one because they are trying to be funny. Um, and they are funny, so they're not just trying, they succeed with being funny, but they're, the first part they just twist history a little bit, but then they blatantly say, like, in the second part, they're like, okay, now here is where we completely go off the page and reimagine history as we would like it to have happened. And it just is so great, like, the way that they reimagine it is so inventive and it's fun and it's funny at the same time, but like I said, not that, like, in-your-face humor, it's kind of that, like, undercut humor, which I just love, and I love the fact that um, they take this magical element into the story, and the magic is so weird, but it works. So the magic is basically, um, you have Verities, and then you have Ethians, and Ethians will turn into animals. Uh, Verities are just like normal humans, like you or I and whatever, um, but Ethians will turn into animals and you never know when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen. People will turn into different animals and a lot of the times the animals that people would turn into would like really be indicative of their character and it was just really awesome to see that because it was really funny at a lot of times and I loved that whole idea. Like it really shouldn't work in this historical fiction but it just worked so well. And I also loved that it did even though they twisted history they stayed true to a lot of it and they kind of made it their own. Um, for example, I think that the Ethians kind of stood place of the Protestants, so they kind of took that religious conflict that was happening at the time in history and they turned it into this kind of magic conflict that fit within the system of their book. And I just think it all worked so well and it all came together to make a fantastic book that was funny but serious at the same time but not too serious. Like it was kind of the perfect blend of everything. So overall, I give this book a 5 out of 5 stars. In case you couldn't tell, I absolutely loved it. I just thought it was so good. It has me in the mood to read like everything about Tudors and English monarchy. Like I'm just so in the mood for that now. And I'm really hoping that the Lady Janies will write more books, especially about like historical figures like this. I would love to read more about um, Bess. I would love to read more about her, who's Elizabeth I. And I would love to read, like I would like if they did one about Anne Boleyn. Like there are so many. That that I wish that they would do that would be amazing so I'm hoping that they will do more because I will be all over that so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have read this book your thoughts on it and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye